In this lecture, let's talk about some more compiler options which we can set in tsconfig.json file. Let's go to VS Code. And here, if I scroll down, we have an option called no emit. Now, what this no emit option does is it simply tells TypeScript compiler to not generate the outputted JavaScript file. Okay, so when we set this no emit option to true, it will not generate any JavaScript file after the TypeScript file has been compiled. Now, why would you want to do that? So, this option you can use just to check if your TypeScript files are correct and it does not contain any compiler errors, but you don't want to generate a JavaScript file for that. So this option can be useful if you are working on a large project with a lot of TypeScript files and you only want to generate the output JavaScript files when your development is complete and not every time the project is compiled. Okay, so if I save these changes here in tsconfig.json and from the dist folder, let's go ahead and let's delete all these files. Okay. And now if we compile our TypeScript project, you will see that there is no compilation error and the project has been compiled successfully, but the dist folder is empty. You won't see any files and folders generated in this dist folder. That's because here in the tsconfig.json, we have set no emit to true. So it will prevent the generation of output JavaScript files. Now here, I'm not going to set this option. So let's comment it. Let's save the changes and let's scroll down and talk about another option. And the another option which I want to talk about here is no emit on error. So when we set no emit option, it will never going to generate a JavaScript file. But we can set this no emit on error option if we don't want to generate a JavaScript file if the TypeScript file contains some compiler error. So if the TypeScript file does not compile successfully, in that case, we would not want to generate the JavaScript file. For that, we can set this option to true. Let's save the changes here. And what we will do is, let's open this auth.ts. And in here, I'm going to write some code. So here, I'll simply create a function. Let's call it sum. This function is going to take two parameters, num1 of type number and num2 also of type number and all this function is going to do is it is going to return the sum of num1 and num2 okay now let's go ahead and let's call this sum function and when we are calling this sum function let's pass the value for num1 and num2 so for num1 i'm passing a numeric value which is expected and for num2 i'm going to pass a string value now this num2 is expecting a numeric value but we are passing a string value. In JavaScript, this code will not fail. It will not throw us any error. But in TypeScript, since TypeScript is strongly typed, it is going to give us this compiler error. So if we save the changes here, okay, and if we compile our application, you will see that we have a compiler error at this line. Okay. And since we have a compiler error, you will see that the JavaScript files for this TypeScript file has not been generated. Now, since we have set this no emit on error option to true, the JavaScript files will be outputted only if all the TypeScript files are compiled successfully. So you see, the error is only in auth.ts. But since there is an error in a TypeScript file, none of the TypeScript files have been compiled. And for that, the JavaScript file has been generated. Okay, so even if a single file contains a compiler error, then no JavaScript file will be generated for any of the TypeScript file. So if we resolve this error, now let's save the changes. And now let's compile this application by again running this TSC command. And now the compilation is successful. And when the compilation is successful, you will see that the JavaScript files have been generated. So this no emit on error option it is going to tell TypeScript compiler to generate the output JavaScript files only if the TypeScript files does not contain any compilation error. So I'm going to keep this option enabled. Next, we are also going to talk about another option, which is remove comments. So 
this option you can set it to true if you don't want to generate the comments which you have written in your TypeScript code in the JavaScript code. So for example, let's save the changes. Let's again go to auth.ts. And before this function, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some comment. Okay, let's save this file. And in the tsconfig.json, we have enabled remove comments. So now what will happen is when this auth.ts file will be compiled and for this, when a JavaScript file will be outputted, there, these comments will be removed. These comments will not be there in that file. Let's see that. Let's go ahead and let's again compile this application. So you can see the JavaScript files have been outputted and if we go to this auth.js, there you will notice that there is no comments. The comments have been removed. In auth.ts, we have added some comments, but that comment has been removed from the generated JavaScript file. So these are few more compilation options which I wanted to talk about in this lecture. In the next lecture, let's talk about strict compilation. So if I scroll down, you see here we have some type checkings. So we are going to talk about some of these options in our next lecture. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.